Welcome, I'm Morris Mohammed, and you're watching our English news program on Somaliland National Television. And now for the main stories making headlines. President of Somaliland and his administration commemorate the conclusion of a political conflict. Director General of Education takes a tour to Gebele. Kerry in Baghdad to meet Iraq leaders as insurgency spreads. Banquet lunch was held to commemorate the conclusion of the disagreement between the president of Somaliland and the chairman of the ruling party, Kulmie, recently resolved by the House of Elders. Attendees at the banquet lunch were the president of Somaliland, Ahmed Mohammed Mahmoud Silanio, vice president of Somaliland, first lady of Somaliland, chairman of the ruling party, Kulmie, parliamentarians, cabinet ministers, businessmen, and high-ranking governmental officials. Spokesman of the president's press office opened the event and expressed his admiration of the president and the chairman of Kulmia's wise decision to pull out from this disagreement and finally do what's best for the country and the nation. Somaliland Minister of Foreign Affairs spoke at the event and expressed his joyfulness to the conclusion of the ruling party's conflict and praised the wise decision of putting what's in the country's best interest first and maintaining stability within the government members to set an example for the people of Somaliland in doing what's best for the country's peace and progress. On the other hand, President of Somaliland Ahmed Mohammed Mahmoud Silanio expressed his gratefulness to the efforts of anyone who was part of achieving this great union. He also said that Somaliland's sovereignty is the most important thing in Somaliland, pledging to maintain the peace and stability by any means. Somaliland in the past 23 years have succeeded to maintain the peace within and finally made this current progress by making such compromises to overcome all emerging crises. Minister of Religious Affairs Sheikh Khalil Ahmed alongside a delegation of the Ministry of Religious Affairs have been warmly welcomed in Sarar's capital city, Ainabo, whereby the minister is anticipated to hold meetings with the religious scholars and authorities of the region. Religious scholars, cultural leaders, and regional authorities have been waiting for the minister's delegation in an area 20 kilometers outside Ainabo to provide warm welcome for the minister and escort him to Ainabo. Regional coordinator of the Ministry of Religious Affairs, Jama Buhnuh, alongside the vice governor of Sarah region, speaking at a press conference held at Isha Ainabo Hotel, expressed gratitude for the visit of the Minister of Religious Affairs to Sarah region hoping that this will increase the role that ministry plays in amplifying re religious seminars and awareness programs. Minister of Religious Affairs Sheikh Khalil Abdullahi Ahmed spoke at the event. He expressed delight toward his visit to the region and showed appreciation over the warm welcome that the religious scholars, regional authorities and residents provided in receiving him and his delegation in Sarah region. Director General for the Ministry of Education and Higher Studies takes a supervision tour to several schools in Gebele. Director General Abib Ahmed Ali, speaking to the press regarding his visit to Gebele, stated that his supervision tour to these schooling institutions was one of assessment and further understanding the situation in the schooling institutions located in Gebele. The Director General pointed out the necessity of such tours of supervision which also to play an instrumental role in helping further the ongoing efforts by the Ministry of Education and Higher Studies aimed at increasing the level of students' knowledge and access of education by every citizen in Gebele and other Somaliland regions as a whole. Director General Abib Ahmed Ali reaffirmed the Ministry's commitment and dedication to taking the Ministry forward and ensuring amplified cooperation with both public and private schooling institutions in all regions of Somaliland. The Ministry of Education and Higher Studies continues to portray development from accomplishing objectives toward pro providing Somaliland students an access to education to efforts aimed to alleviate illiteracy among the population. 
students of Bali League are for the first time in two decades sitting the final exams of secondary schools with other public schooling institutions located in all regions of Somaliland. The students for the first time set the final exams of the secondary school. After years of education, students are now to their best struggling to meet the criteria being provided by the examination board for the students finalizing the secondary level education expecting to enroll for the universities within the next few months. The students are sought to emerge with high scores to succeed the exams and be able to join universities across Somaliland. Mayor of Balidik speaking in a while after students set the exams, he stated that the district has now for the first time ensured that students at secondary schooling institutions are able to set the final exams of secondary school and that this was due primarily to greater steps taken by the current administration of President Ahmed Silanio. You're still tuned into the English news program on Somaliland National Television and now for the international headlines in detail. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry is in Baghdad where he will urge Iraqi Prime Minister to form a more inclusive government. Iraq is Shiite led with little input from Sunnis or Kurds. Kerry's visit comes after a Sunni militant group, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant or ISIL took strongholds along the border with Syria over the weekend. Washington has noted dissatisfaction with Maliki's leadership among Sunni, Kurds and some Shiites. Kerry has said the U.S. wanted Iraqis to find a leadership prepared to be inclusive and share power. The United States believes Israel push towards Baghdad has been slowed, but the capture of border crossings was of concern. Last week, Israel seized control of Iraq's second largest city, Mosul, forcing around 500,000 people to flee their homes. Kerry says he will discuss actions underway to help Baghdad as it fights this militant advance, and he'll press Iraq's leaders to quickly form a new government that represents the interests of all Iraqis. A powerful failure in Rio de Janeiro left parts of the city popular with tourists visiting for the World Cup in darkness. The blackout happened on Sunday afternoon, two hours after the Belgium-Russia game at the Marcana Stadium. A spokesman for the power company Light SA said buildings throughout the upmarket Botafogo district were left without electricity. People were trapped in lifts and the lights went out and traffic came at a standstill. Residents in Brazil's World Cup host city say they are no stranger to blackouts. In bars, workplaces and homes across the south of the city, people lit candles and carried on with their day as best they could. And that's the end of our news. Catch us tomorrow at the same time. Until then, goodbye.